a brand new day. I'm getting ready for work. I'm here to tell you this video is brought to you by this is not it. I love Dole. I think I threw it out as much as the next person. I had this in my live stream the other day, but basically um, the clear gel one works 110% better than this one. Uh, I sit here and I just like tear them off my eye. And you would think, oh, well, Gabby, they, they go clear when it's ready to put on. Okay, so I put it on when it's clear. It doesn't work. I won't put it on when it's tacky. It doesn't work. I get like Russian roulette sometimes where I'll get one to work. Um, but yeah. We are now at my dermatologist appointment um, where they're going to look at my like actual hair and um, tell me what's going on with that. So my dermatologist appointment, basically they told me to just use Rogaine 24 seven in my hair. Don't take it out, leave it in, wash my hair twice a week because I wear wigs. So just put the wig cap over the Rogaine in the wig and not worry about it. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like my hair is gonna be a greasy, disgusting mess. And when I do actually have to have it out or something's going on and I don't have my wig, like that's just gonna be, I don't know. I'm thinking about if I want to do it or not, but once you start something like that, cause it's a hair regrowing process, you can't just stop. It's, you gotta go because sometimes if you stop, it gets like aggressive and then you do get hair loss. I think for the rest of the day, this vlog might be a little boring to be honest, because I'm not doing much. I mean, I'm going over to the guy's house that I'm seeing later tonight, but besides that, um, I don't have anything exciting and I wish my dermatologist would have given me better news of what I got but I mean it is what it is and I kind of just have to take what they're giving me because that's what they're saying I am thinking about maybe going to do like a second opinion or start seeing someone else just because I feel like there should be more that I can do for what's happening to me and I don't know if it's not being offered or what the circumstances but I know there's other stuff you could do for hair loss besides just like over-the-counter medication. All right, guys, we need to talk about what just happened because that was really scary. Um, I've, been, I've never had anything like this in my life happen before. Uh, so I think this is why I was so caught off guard. I went outside to leave. It's 8.30. And I seen something in the front of my yard. But it was like on the borderline of my yard and someone else's but i thought maybe at first it was like a deer or something but then i saw a light near it so i was like okay well maybe that's just the next door neighbor but why are they like in the yard with a light like a flashlight or a phone light and just like chilling but they had a dog with them like i said i thought maybe it was like a deer because i saw this like huge dog at first and i was like oh there's a deer in my yard but then when I saw the light attached, because it was so dark out and where the person was standing, I couldn't see them. I was like, oh, well, it's probably just my neighbor with their dog. So as I start walking towards my car, the person's walking backwards, like real slowly away from me. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't think that's my neighbor because I wouldn't be acting like that. So I was like, great, there's somebody on my property. And I don't know who it is. And I'm outside by my car by myself. So I am kind of just like petrified, like trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So I put my stuff in my car and stay in my car. At this point, they're on like a corner of the street and I saw where they went. But after I seen that they were on the corner out of the corner of my eye for my car, they disappeared. So I was like, okay, well, this is like really weird that this person was just magically here. And then they're like walking backwards. Then they're on the corner. Then they're like going farther back. Like, obviously this isn't a neighbor. Uh, in my brain, it wasn't my like direct neighbor. So when I was pulling my car out, I didn't see them when I drove past them and I ended up not even down the road for two minutes and I turned around because something just felt off. Like somebody was in my yard and I'm leaving. I didn't call 911 or anything, but I decided to like turn around and go back. So when I went back, I was looking to see where they were from like the road and everything. And I didn't see them at all. So when I went to turn my car, they were just standing there. And they had no fucking, like, fear or anything, this man, to just come right up to my window and try to speak to me. And, of course, me being me and a woman, and it's late at night, I said, um, excuse me, please back up from my window. It's 8.30 at night. It's dark. I don't know you, and you just saw my property. So, like, um, what do you want? What are you doing? 
so I ask him and interrogate him. I'm like, why were you on my property? And he's like, oh, I always clean up after my dog. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So you took your dog to take a shit on my property instead of where the fuck you live? I went the fuck off. I was like, how dare you? And they're like, oh, I won't do it again. I'm like, yeah, you won't fucking do it again. Because next time I'm going to mace you in the face. Like, I'm going to freak out. You're on my fucking property. It's late at night and you're going to walk your dog. Like, that doesn't sound suspicious as fuck. So when I'm like, yeah, I just seen you on my security camera. Like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, yeah, I won't do it again. Like, a little kid that got caught, like, stealing candy. So now I'm, like, terrified to leave my house at night. That some fucking weirdo is going to be walking around letting his dog shit or like snooping around. I think I definitely screwed up some of my vlogmas days, but it's like 7.30 in the morning. I look pretty decent, or at least, I, well, I have one eye on, so I gotta put the other one on. Um, I've been doing like two days at a time for vlogs just because during the week I'm not doing much. I could be filming a lot, but um, it's Friday, so hopefully today something is up. I have some stuff going on for the weekend, so that should be good. And I'm at the guy's house that I'm seeing. His lighting in here is like spot on. I love it so much. <laughs> it just looks like nice. So I figured I would show you what I'm wearing. I kind of look like Lydia from freaking Beetlejuice in my opinion. Yeah, see, my camera looks really good in here too. Shit. <laughs> 